Welcome back, everyone. This time we have five random facts. So let's get started. Coca Cola is usually on every shelf in any store, almost around the entire world. But because of U.S. trade embargoes, according to BBC, Cuba and North Korea still can't legally import or sell Coca Cola. The Dragon's Breath chili pepper is so hot it's downright deadly. If you ate one, it could potentially cause a type of anaphylactic shock, burning the airways and closing them up. It's claimed to have a Scoville level of 2.48 million. For reference, the military grade pepper spray that they use on civilians usually maxes out at 2 million. As it turns out, the chili was initially developed to be used in medical treatment as an anesthetic that can numb the skin. The world's quietest room is located in Microsoft's headquarters in Redmond, Washington. I don't have actual photos of it because it's not open to the public, but it was reported that if you stand in it for long enough, you start to hear your heartbeat. A ringing in your ears becomes deafening. When you move, you hear your bones make a grinding noise. Eventually, you lose your balance because the absolute lack of reverberation sabotages your spatial awareness. All sound from the outside world is locked out and any sound produced inside is stopped cold. It's called an anechoic chamber because it creates no echo at all, which makes the sound of clapping hands downright eerie. The lowest natural temperature ever directly recorded at ground level on Earth is minus 89.2 degrees Celsius, which is equivalent to minus 128 degrees Fahrenheit. The location was the Soviet Vostok Station in Antarctica on the 21st of July, 1983. It's hard to imagine the effect on the body that temperatures like this would have. Even at temperatures less severe, exposed skin would freeze in minutes, drastically increasing the risk for frostbite, hypothermia, and death. It's hard to imagine a world without chocolate chip cookies. But the delectable dessert wasn't actually invented until 1930. On the day that the cookies were created, Ruth Graves Wakefield, co-owner of the Toll House Inn, was preparing some chocolate cookies for her guests when she realized that she was out of Baker's chocolate. Thinking on her feet, Wakefield decided to chop up a block of Nestle semi-sweet chocolate, assuming that it would melt and spread evenly throughout the batter. Instead, what came out of the oven was the very first batch of chocolate chip cookies, and modern dessert was never the same. These have been five random facts. I hope you enjoyed them, and thank you for listening.